the Acura Integra from a new division of American Honda, exclusively at Acura dealers. Acura established itself in 1986 as the first premium automobile brand from Japan, created specifically to take on the likes of American and European premium luxury vehicles, running on the tagline of precision crafted automobiles. Yet, as times change, auto manufacturers must adapt, and in 2001, the Integra was discontinued. And finally, after two decades, Acura brings back the iconic nameplate. I'm Sean Garcia, your Acura specialist here at Triple J, and today I'd like you to follow me as we take a deep dive in the 2023 Acura Integra. All right, guys, so the first thing you're gonna notice is this uh, Acura Corporate Diamond Pentagon grill. And what they did with the Integra was they, they, they switched it up a bit, made it a little bit more sporty. Uh, the main thing, they took out the frame. So it's a frameless grill, the first, the first of its kind for Acura. And um, so that's kind of what's paving the way for the future of the Acura branding. So you're gonna see this on their, their newer RDX, the MDX, the TLX, everything that's gonna follow this Integra this type of grill is kind of where Acura is going. Another thing is you're gonna notice this huge Acura emblem. And just a fun fact about the Acura emblem. So like I said earlier in the beginning, Acura's tagline at first in the 80s was precision crafted automobiles. So this is not just an A, it's actually a, a, it's a caliper. So what that is, it's a precision measuring instrument that a lot of engineers use, architects use it. So that's, um, they wanted to incorporate that form of precision into the emblem, not just make it an A, they wanted to make it mean for precision. So that's that's a little fun fact about the, the A there. It's actually a, a caliper, a measuring instrument. All right, guys, to the headlights, what you're gonna see is Acura's new design, newly designed chicane style LED headlights. Now they call it chicane LED lighting just because of the, the, the shape of it. It's actually modeled after a, a, a turn on a racetrack. It's a chicane, so it's a, high speed turn that's gonna cut one way and then cut the opposite way real quick in, in a short time. So they, they took that from their inspiration from their race cars. And then also the Acura Signature LED lighting, all individual beams there, they look like jewels. They're, they're actually called jewel eye LED lights. And then right below that, you're gonna see the most nostalgic thing on, on the, the 2023 Integra is this Integra embossing on the bumper. So this was on the third gen or DC2 Integra, which was probably the, the generation that put the Integra on the map in terms of performance. Uh, following that, you do have front and rear, uh, front parking sensors on this bumper. You also have them in the rear. And then you got them finished off is the a dual eye LED fog light as well. And that's pretty much gonna wrap up the front. All right guys, so just like the first generation Integra that released in 1986, Acura brought back that same body style, that four-door liftback design, but they didn't forget about you guys that are hardcore two-door coupe guys. So what they did was the, they took the roof line and they kind of made it very smooth, kind of gave it a coupe profile, but they still integrated that hatchback in the back. So it kind of feeds both needs, you know, you, you get that coupe look, but the practicality of a four-door sedan or even a hatchback. So that's where we're going with the Integra. We're going for practical and performance. Okay guys, now that I got the body style out of the way and answer your questions on that, uh, let's get into this little badge right here. So A-Spec. So a lot of you guys are probably asking, what is A-Spec? For Acura, for the most part, it's just an appearance package inside and outside. So you are gonna get a couple features on top of that and we'll get into that. But with A-Spec, the main thing is all the trim that would be chrome or anything shiny, they're gonna kind of get rid of that. It's gonna be blacked out. Your wheels, that's gonna be one of the biggest differences on the A-Spec that you're gonna notice right up from the, from the beginning is with the Integra, you're gonna get a standard 17 inch gray wheel, but with the A-Specs, you're gonna get this 18 inch shark gray painted alloy wheel. So it is a five spoke, kind of like a five spoke, more 10 spokes if you really wanna be serious about it and count but it's going to be that five spoke design shark gray so apparently it's hearsay but acura took about 25 different shark species put their color together and came out with that as an average and they called it shark gray i don't know if it's true or not but it's pretty cool <laughs> so there that's your answer for that speculation all right so another big deal with this integra being the manual transmission like I said, 
it's it's hooked up with the same transmission from the Civic SI, so you're gonna get that nice slick shifting six speed, plus the, the helical limited slip differential in the transmission. So that's what's gonna give you that claw grabbing mechanical feel so you don't have all that torque steer when you're slamming the throttle and trying to accelerate as fast as you can at the Jigo drag strip. But you're gonna get that you're gonna get that nice balance of acceleration from that limited slip differential. And a lot of cars don't really have that, especially in this price point, uh, down here, entry level, luxury, anything like that, you're not really gonna get a, a mechanical limited slip differential. So that's, that's a nice thing about it is you're gonna get that positive acceleration feel. You're gonna get that two wheel burnout. You can put 11s on the drag strip and instead of a one wheel pill like the old school cars with open diffs. But yeah, that's what you're gonna get with this. Just another aspect of the driving dynamics for this and that's one thing that makes the manual transmission very appealing for the enthusiasts is that limited slip differential. All right, rounding off the tail end of the Integra, the first thing that catches my eye, again, the Integra embossing right there. Same font as the original DC2. Um, that's stamped here on the back. Then, like I did mention, you do have that lift back design. Chicane style LED lighting, so you get them in the front and the back. Same thing with the badging in the front and the back. Symmetry. Another thing, the third brake light, this is what's pretty cool. I just noticed this on my way up here. Um, the third brake light is kind of hidden within the glass, so it really doesn't break up that roof line, so it's, it's just a nice transition. I just thought that was a cool little effect that Acura did design-wise. Then coming down here to the bumper, you are going to have your rear parking sensors, so you know you don't scrape your nice black diffuser on anything, all those crazy parking stalls everywhere in Guam because they're not the same size anywhere. And then uh, rounding it off in the end, polished dual exhaust. So this is the first on the Integra is a full dual exhaust. And what's pretty cool about this is we'll probably try and cut it to you later, but uh, the way the muffler is shaped is kind of shaped like a French horn. So to give it that little, that nice deep bellowing growl or, you know, just to get rid of that drone that usually comes around with four cylinder cars. So yeah, that's a cool feature that Acura did. Then let's get into the practicality aspect of this hatchback. So back here, you're gonna have a nice deep storage space. It is about 24 cubic feet of space with the seats up. If you fold those seats back down, you're gonna get just about 45 cubic feet. Uh, not too much back here besides your fix a flat kit, some extra storage down there, and then your subwoofer for your 16 speaker ELS audio system. Then you do have LED lighting here, just so you know at night you're not blind when you're trying to go through your trunk. That's pretty much there. Oh, another thing. So this is what I like to talk about with my customers. These handles here, people, they're here for a reason. That's so you don't touch your paint and grab it when you want to close your hatch, so you don't mess up that beautiful liquid carbon paint, like I said. So all I gotta do is just grab it here, just slam it down, it'll go down. All right, getting into the interior, first thing I want to talk about is these door panels. So you're going to have nice soft touch premium materials up here, leather wraps right here, and it, it is red matching the seats. So that's the interior color here, by the way. Um, all your window controls and your mirror controls here, that's what's going to be right here. Then you do have memory seating, so that's a nice thing. So when you do receive the car, you're going to get two keys. One key is going to have number one, the other one's going to have number two. And those are set with these numbers right here on the memory seating. So if you start the car with key number one, it's going to automatically set you to number one. Vice, same thing with number two. All right, and then it's simple to set. It just hit set and push whatever number and then you're good to go. Another thing that you're going to notice is this ELS 3D studio sound system. So that's Acura's premium sound system. There's 16 speakers in this car, guys. And let me tell you, they sound fabulous. All right, guys, so the first thing you notice up front and center on the interior of the Integra is that 10.2 inch digital gauge cluster. So what's nice about the gauge cluster being digital is that all your engine parameters, everything you want to monitor, everything you need, all the information you need while you're driving can be put right here. So you can check where your your um, your audio source is going to be on the left side. It's also your RPM gauge is going to be there as well. Um, on the right side, you're going to have your speedo. And then you can also go through all your different um, maintenance things. You can look at your navigation. You can check your safety features, which we'll get into that in a little bit. 
but you can also see who's buckled up and that also goes into the rear seat so it'll tell you all who's in the back and who's not buckled up like me right now i'm not buckled up um it'll tell you when your maintenance is due it'll tell you your your tire pressure then you can like i said turn on your acura watch safety suite all right as for inf infotainment you are going to get a nine inch touchscreen in this one so you're going to have your fm radio bluetooth audio you do have smartphone integration so android auto apple carplay whichever your pick your poison for your phone but that's going to be available on this that's the standard feature but on this trim since it is the highest end you are going to get it wireless so no need for a cord for android auto or apple carplay it's all wireless then you're also going to see this dynamic mode switch select lever here so if you look up here on the screen we're going to go from normal we have normal we have comfort and we have sport so going through these modes normal it's just going to give you how accurate intended for you to drive the integra from a day to day your suspension is going to feel the way Acura originally wanted you to, to feel. If you go down to comfort, that suspension is gonna soften up, your steering feel is gonna soften up, and then your throttle response is also gonna um, soften up as well. If you go into sport, that does the complete opposite. All that suspension is gonna tighten up a little bit, your steering is gonna tighten up, you're gonna get a little bit more response from your engine, and you just have, that's the fun time with in sport mode that's when you're gonna have fun with this and that's where most enthusiasts are probably gonna want to drive all right one more thing um, that the integra has is individual mode so we went over the dynamic modes but you also have individual mode so you can customize it and tailor it to how you like driving your car so if you hit that and if we take a look up here and you hold that individual button like it says so you can go over all these different uh, parameters. So right now everything says normal. So it's pretty much like you're driving in normal mode. But if I want to make my engine sporty, I can do that. Your steering can still feel normal. If I want to make my suspension in comfort, but the engine sporty, you can do that. And then there you go. So like I said, all those different parameters, you can change them up just by a push of that button. And then you can have it your way, almost like BK. I hope you enjoyed that deep dive of the 2023 Acura Integra. I'm pleased to say that the Integra checks off all the boxes of balanced driving dynamics, power, versatility of space, and modern technology that's required of a premium vehicle in this day and age. I'm Sean Garcia, and if you'd like to know more, you can give me a call or come see me or any of our other professional sales associates here at Triple J, where customers are first.